Damon here! What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here. And in today's video I'm going to be showing you another respawn farm. Works similar as the one on Earth, as most of you already know about. The one where they always keep respawning in the cave, and everyone surrounds that area now and goes there to farm. What a big pain in the ass. Anyways, I have you another location where you can spawn trap enemies. And not to mention, the loot drop right here is nice. Instead of doing the same old, same old at Earth. It does get pretty repetitive there, so it's good to switch it up a bit. This respawn trap area is located on Venus, and it's at the very beginning of Venus, believe it or not. You just want to take this path down here and go down to where you see all these cars blown up at. There will be fallens and shanks that spawn here, so take them all out because the point of this is to trap them into their spawn. Once you've taken them out, head over to this direction and jump on these pipes. Well, I have to jump on these pipes because I'm a damn hunter and it's hard to jump. And once you get up on top of here, kind of jump out and then jump up again and get on these set of pipes. Let's just say the further away you are from the spawn, the more they will spawn. But yeah, just aim your sights down in that doorway down there because that's where they'll be coming out at. You want to keep them trapped inside there. And if one escapes, well then go hunt it down and kill it because they all have to be killed for this trap to work better. So make sure they all stay dead. This is a great way to farm for M-grams. I don't want to say it's better than Earth, just because Earth, it's simply you just get there and shoot them down. But it's another way to farm for M-grams, and it works just like Earth. Also, instead of using your black wax idols to get glimmer, you can use your fallen glimmer boosts now. Which, hey, that is good. Another reason why I don't think this is as better as Earth is because it's a high traffic area. A lot of people run through this area it can kind of mess up the respawn rate, but it doesn't mess it up that bad. It's just another little thing to pick at. But anyways, once you've killed enough monsters and your ammo is just about out, you want to go over there and check what dropped. Once again, it works just like the one on Earth. And then once you get your loot, just repeat the process, head over here and get on top of this area. I would like to mention that this area that we are at, you can actually glitch out of the map here, which is pretty badass because back here there's a lot of walkable areas and you can be a ninja back here. You can run through buildings and shit. There's a lot of things to do back here. But you are warned, if you do decide to go out here, as a hunter, I could not get back out of this area. So I was trapped in here, out of orbit. But a Titan could make it out, and I'm pretty sure a Warlock could too. A hunter, I'm not so sure I couldn't make it out. Maybe you can, who knows. Kudos to you if you do get out. Me and my friends were just exploring back here, and let's just say we had a lot of fun doing it, even though there wasn't shit that we found. We still had a lot of fun doing it. I don't know what it is, but when I glitch out of areas, glitch out of the game, it's just fun. I, I don't get why, either. Because the game is all about playing in the game, but I have fun glitching out of the game, too. Doesn't make much sense, but hey, while I'm running back here and exploring, I, I guess I can go ahead and share some tips that you could, you know, try out while farming. Another thing that you could do, you could start up missions. Since you are on patrol, you can start up missions while farming here. And hey, you'll complete missions and get bounties because most of the missions on Venus involve killing. Sure, there are some areas where you have to go scout out, but you can just cancel those missions if you don't feel like going to scout them out. Because what missions do, they help get up your Vanguard reputation, which is extremely important into getting good gear, which can be a big pain in the nipples to get up. Also, you can do bounties while you're here. Think about that, guys. I'm just trying to share with you guys another farming area that you can do because I do know Earth does get very repetitive at that cave respawn area. Well, at least that's my opinion. And this is a good way to stay engaged and to keep farming. I, however, did not find this farming area. Someone actually posted this on Reddit and shared it with the community. So big kudos to that guy. I will have that article in the description for you guys to check out if you want to. And not to mention, guys, Reddit is a great source to find things that hasn't even been posted on YouTube yet. So, hey, if you guys are still looking for new things to do, check Reddit. They always have forums talking about different topics. And let's just say it's very useful because you can find out some pretty interesting things on Reddit from the Reddit community. They're pretty smart people in there. Now to talk about the loot that I got real quick. I did get a purple engram, and I was only up there for about 30 minutes. Once again, it always depends on how good you are at the lottery. 
in my case I guess I'm pretty damn good because I got a purple engram in about 30 minutes hey that isn't that bad I also got like four blue engrams within that 30 minute time period so this farming area is extremely similar with the loot drop rate from the earth cave respawn area I hope you guys have a lot of fun farming I wish you all the best in your drops if you haven't please remember to subscribe for more destiny's tips tricks news secrets Easter eggs, whatever I find out, I'll be throwing out at you guys. And if you don't believe me, well, just check out my channel. I've made tons of Destiny content. But anyways, I'm out of here though, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. And most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm going to be covering a lot of secrets and Easter eggs on Destiny. First one I'm going to be covering is probably one of the hardest ones 